Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to check if somebody is using adblock extension in the browser using JavaScript. We are going to use this library, adblock checker. It contains a very small method, uh, or you can say only one method, that is check adblock. And this method will return true or false. So if the adblock is enabled, we will get true as written. If not, we will get false. You can simply Google for this library and you just need to click on this link. You need to go to this dist folder. You need to download this file by clicking on this button download. I already did so. So let's get started. Create an index file here. We need a basic HTML structure. Add a link to a style sheet. And a script file at the bottom, which is script.js. Also include this file, which we have downloaded. Add the checker. We need a button here. Let's make it check. Also, we need a paragraph element. Uh, let's make the text. Click the check button. You can put any text of your choice. Not a big deal. Now just save it. Create a style sheet here. Select the body element. Display will be flex. Flex direction will be column line items will be center select the button element padding will be 5 pixel and 20 pixel select paragraph element give it a width of around 300 pixels border will be 1 pixel solid black padding will be 10 pixels Font size will be around 20 pixels. Color will be white. Background color will be gray. Text align will be center. Save it. Just open this file in the browser to see the layout. Now let's work on the script file. Create a script file here. Script.js. Select the button element as well as the paragraph element so we'll make it btn check let's make it p element add event listener to the button event will be click and we'll call this function update status let's create this function here it will be an async function we need a variable here so let's make it is enabled we'll call this method first of all it will be like this add block checker in the add block checker we have a method check add block that's it it will return a promise and whatever the result will be that will be stored in the is enabled variable so basically it returns true or false so we'll have a boolean value here now we'll select the p element and update the inner text so if it is enabled we'll show enabled otherwise disabled also we'll change the background color just copy and paste it so if enabled will make it red if disabled will make it green let's go to the browser so currently ad block is enabled for this site or you can say on this local environment just click on this check button it will show enabled let me disable it reload the page click again it will show disabled now i'm pretty sure some of you will definitely comment how we can check this on page load for that you need to make use of this uh, event let me show it to you just copy and paste it so you need to make use of load event on the window that's it just save it go to the browser load the page so we are getting disabled here let me enable again i think it is already enabled 
let me load what is showing enabled let me disable it now it is disabled so one button check you can make use of this click event listener and on the page load you can go with the load event i hope you got the point how it actually works see the next video have a nice day